Hello, nice to meet you. Today I will present a solution uh, related to uh, a specific uh, Oracle Integration Cloud recipe, uh, which is used to create a worker into Fusion HCM. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, let's see our official safe harbor statement. And about OIC, what we can say is that OIC is uh, um, uh, now uh, having more than 100 adapters, which is something that uh, enables uh, many, uh, many uh, possibilities uh, to uh, run, to develop and to run the integration that you need to build. Also, Oracle Integration Cloud provides uh, accelerators and recipes, and um, uh, we have uh, at the moment 238 recipes available. And um, okay, these recipes are for ERP, HCM, any kind, uh, different kind of uh, uh, package applications. And so let's look into the solution. And the solution is this one. And you see here the link to the recipe. Uh, and uh, this uh, link provides all the information about the behavior of the recipe, uh, how to set up it, and so on. And so the recipe is about having Oracle Integration Cloud to take a file which is provided by uh, any of, uh, of the applications of uh, repositories. Um, and this, uh, this file is provided as a JSON file, that it is zipped. So Oracle Int Integration Cloud is taking this file from its internal file server, assuming that an application has um, uploaded this uh, file into the file server, and then is extracting the file from the zip file and uh, is uh, then mapping the JSON file format into the format which is required by the API that OIC is calling through the REST adapter to Fusion HCM, uh, which, is, which is the Create Worker API. Then the call uh, then is calling this API, and the call to this API is uh, giving back the person information, and so the person number is, go is uh, logged in, into the OIC log. Also, I see is uh, then backing up the uh, original zip file into a backup folder and also is uh, persisting uh, the successful worker file, which is the JSON file that has been successfully inserted into, uh, into HCM into a result folder. So let's look uh, at the environment. And uh, so we can, uh, we can go here uh, into um, uh, workers, and uh, we can search for a specific worker, which is this Mr. Beckham here, uh, that uh, is not uh, checking that it is not present into Fusion HCM. And so uh, the input file for Mr. Beckham here will be Beckham D, uh, Beckham first name, la uh, middle name, uh, and um, a dummy email. Uh, its phone number, uh, address, and so on, social uh, national identifier number, and so on. And this file, uh, which is employee new uh, 21 uh, JSON file, uh, is zipped into the corresponding zip file. And so uh, what we will have to do uh, will be to position this zip file into the uh, input SFTP uh, folder. Um, uh, let's look at the recipe. The recipe is provided with uh, um, an S SFTP connection that I have uh, uh, obviously configured with the FTP uh, details, uh, connectivity details of the uh, Oracle Integration Cloud instance and uh, all uh, the related credentials. Uh, also, the recipe comes uh, with the uh, Fusion HCM adapter. I have changed it to the with the REST adapter just to check how simple it was uh, to uh, modify a recipe. And uh, so to make it work in a, in a different way with a different adapter. So I have provided uh, the uh, connectivity information uh, to the uh, to the Fusion HCM uh, of this demo, the one that we have seen before. About the Create Worker solution, it is starting from a schedule. So it is listing the file on the input directory, then it is downloading the file, unzipping, uh, moving to the archive, unzipping, and then it, uh, uh, accessing the JSON file from uh, from the file, and its content is mapping this content it, into the the call to the to the REST uh, to to the REST APIs. Here, in example, is the sample of uh, the sch schema for the REST APIs. Here, we can also see uh, the mapper 
uh, between the JSON input and the uh, REST API. And we see here the mapping, uh, which is in this case very simple uh, between the items provided by uh, from uh, from the JSON input file and the and the input information uh, that is needed by the HCM. Uh, so what we can do, uh, we see also that the recipe is provided with uh, uh, a, a very detailed structure of activities like uh, fault handlers and so on. And uh, what we can do, we can run this integration, but before running this integration, we have to emulate the uploading. And so to really uh, do the uploading of the file into the SFTP folder, and we can connect uh, to the server. And we have the file that we said was the 20, uh, new 21. We can upload this file and then everything is set uh, to run the integration. To run the integration, we have seen it is scheduled. And so we can run the scheduler now. We see that now we have an activity stream uh, available with uh, which is providing the instance ID. And uh, so what is happening right now? It's happening that OIC is doing, uh, is getting the file, has, has got the file from the SFTP server. And the file then is, uh, uh, as we said, is downloaded, is uh, then um, persisted. Let's let's go into the FileZilla. And uh, we the, the file should have gone from the input directory and is persisted uh, as into the archive directory. And in the results file, we should have information about, uh, about this file uh, that has, has been uh, just uh, uploaded uh moved uh, because it was uh, maybe it is uh the in the, the um, insert into fusion hcm has been successful uh so let's see uh, exactly what happened in oic uh, we can go here and uh, uh, switch from the designer to the observe uh, part of oic uh we uh we can refresh here and we see that we have three process file and uh, so two minutes ago, uh, we have run this integration and this integration is exactly this one. And so we see uh, the complete part of the execution. This is the, the green uh, steps are the one which are saying exactly the path followed by the execution. And we see that here we have created the, the, the worker the step that we have seen before and obviously the file has been then moved um, and persisted into the result file. If you wanted to see any uh, the contextual execution uh, through the uh, uh, through the um, activity stream, here we see that we have selected this one, and this is exactly the call uh, to the HCM REST, and this is my call, uh, which is my Mr. Beckham D, uh, which has been provided into the into the into fusion and so the um and that there is and that we are also locking the person number and this is uh, the the message which has been processed by uh by um uh, so this is the message uh, uh which is uh, so the the information which has been provided back uh from the uh, from the fusion from the fusion HCM has been logged as a person number. And so we can also go in here into the log and we can see that uh, we can look into the log uh, because you know Oracle Integration Cloud provides uh, also the activity stream that can be enabled uh, to be uh, to be logged into uh, IC logging uh, uh, logging framework. And you see that here we have the lock, and uh, this lock in, is exactly providing the person number which has been logged, and we have seen before on the um, activity stream of the IC. So 6599 is exactly uh, the same information which is logged here into uh, the activity stream which is provided into IC. So uh, let's go uh, at the end. Uh, to see if my Mr. Beckham is uh, present in the 
into the Fusion HCM. And so we have seen all the flow, all the steps of the flow. And so Mr. Beckham is over there uh, with the information I have provided before. So um, we have seen the execution uh, so uh, the execution of this uh, recipe and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video and for your interest uh, on this content. Goodbye.